we've reached 50 subscribers. Yay. This is the review video. It's probably going to be my longest video ever for my channel, maybe. But we actually reached 52. Thank you, guys. And this is the video that you've been blessed with. This is... I'm just going to add some studs. Because I probably forgot to do this off camera. So... I'm going to add some studs that look cool. So it looks like the ghostly effect. And while I'm doing this... Please... Share my videos across... YouTube. That'll be giving me a huge favor. I'll just yeet that. And here we go. This is the brief review. We'll first start at this black fence. Notice its length, its height. These dots look like fence poles from far away. You know what I mean. Moving on to the fence. This is the from the other set. The actual set of this. There's both sides. Nothing really different from these fences, but I used two other things. More fence. This side's extended, so you could actually um, think it's extended to another platform. The inside has this little thing where it's a little cracked, which gives it a perfect effect to look like a worn-out graveyard. I'll close. Then look at... I'll show you the minifigures later. So we'll look at more of the landscaping. This side of the fence, sneak peek of the house. I'll do that later in the rev in the review. Then turning it around, more black fence, more tree, the house. Now we'll start at this pathway. I made like a jiggly jaggly formation which looks like a, r a dirt road. The graveyard, this grave has a piece from the actual set that goes in the gate to enter the graveyard in the actual set. This grave is the exact same from the actual set. Close these gates for now. Now this skeleton comes on this grave. I actually changed this grave a little so it's a little more, how do I say this? Conflict with a skeleton. I don't know what this is. I just decided to add it. Just tell me what you think it is. It looks like a hole. I don't really know. Then we look at the house. More graves. A worn out grave that looks like mossy. Then this key right here. That goes with the door. Is it already a key? Is it goes with the skeleton? The tree. I wear it pretty hard on, don't ask why. When you're thinking, hey, this is not a good tree. It's actually pretty good. These are the roots of the tree, spreadified. These are, this is the tree. It's pretty simple. Inside, as you can see, it's just pieces with jumper plates and angle plates. Did I say that right? Jump plates? I don't really know. Okay, so the leaves are perfect. The roots are cool. Then we'll look at some minifigure review. So, we'll start at the door, see these roots leading up to the house, and then to the plant, and to the tree. That looks like a haunted, cra a cra haunted creature. The door, with a key already inside. In the tan colored plate of an entrance, more weeds, a vine over a window, more schemes of color, an ingrown green of grass inside the house, these studs that represent ghostly identified juice. I don't know why. Sneak peek of the house again. The tree, normal from the video. This time it spins the hot the, from the other set. This time it spins the whole 360. Now look inside the house. You can see the green spill from the actual thing. The tap. 
I added an extra piece as well. This chair, if I move the table, it's a jiggly formation, which makes it look more horrifying. Its side is like a, um, on the bottom, if you notice, that last plate, that's actually a spinning or a turntable. This, decided to put it there, this is just the bin of tools. You can notice the curved part of the roof. Then you can see this grey part, looks like a formation, cool formation, more weeds. Now look at mini let's do a minifigure review as well. Look at the skeleton, it's heading towards Jack. I'm pretty sure his name is that. The good thing, it's a classic skeleton from the actual set. It's perfect. Now, this dog heading for the skeleton, I don't know what his name is. Comment down his name. Now it's the. I had to maybe have to turn the thing around. So and then it's a vine drag or a ghost dragging Jack in. Notice the back of the grave. Now put it back. This is. It's a classic. If I just take this. Just take Jack off. It's going around his um, body. Now, uh, look at this, which is a grandma with a broom and a Ninjago ghost. This broom, if I remove the ghost from his head, or her head, it's Peter Parker's mum, I'm pretty sure. Aunt May, no, 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 not May, not the mum, Aunt May. So an aunt. This ghost from Ninjago, or the ghoul season of Ninjago, the ghost season with more, etc. Now we look at, I forgot her name as well, Parker, never mind. Her phone's dropped on the pavement. She's been looped around by this ghost that already appeared in the set. Now, Notice this phone dropped on the ground, nothing normal, nothing really different as well. Overall, I love this in this review. Comment what other things do you want in this, on this channel. Please do subscribe and see ya.